I don't actually know that much about the history of Greenwich. The history, to be honest, I don't know. I don't know much about history. I do know some stuff, wait. Um, to be honest, I don't know a lot. Actually, there is one thing I know. I think uh, this building was built in 18 something. It's quite a historic building. Henry VIII was born here. And it was designed by Wren, I think, in like the 18th century. But apart from that, not much else. I think the Queen's home's over there. That's about it, to be honest. She likes it. No. <laughs> General answer. I don't know anything about Greenwich. Today's generation should care about history and what happened in the past, um, really because it keeps coming up. I think it just adds a, a great extra dimension to, um, to the place where you are. You begin to you begin to see why certain things have happened. It gives you a sense of place if you understand why um, where, you're, where you're studying, where you spend most of your day is, um, is special, is important, or if you didn't even know that it was important, um, quite how important it really was. It's a truism that um, those who don't learn from the mistakes of the past are doomed to repeat them. Lots of good stuff has happened in the whole scope of human history. I think it's a shame if people are just put, up by, put, put off by lists of dates and who begat who, that's, that's not history. It's looking at things, questioning things, and getting more and more deeply immersed in, in the fabric. And suddenly the place can be transformed into something of much greater meaning. Why people don't necessarily care about history is that a lot of it can seem quite irrelevant. There's a lot of it, there's an awful lot of it, and uh, also it's, it can be very dry. It can be presented as very dry, uh, it can be taught badly, wrongly at school as a very dry subject, but also some of it is objectively very dry. Greenwich is a very ancient community. Um, how ancient, we're still not quite sure. Henry VIII, Elizabeth I and Mary Tudor were all born here. They were all Greenwich people. And it was here that Henry VIII waited for the signal that Anne Boleyn had been beheaded. A very dramatic and dark moment in Greenwich's history. There was a famous game of cricket played on Blackheath with the one-armed pensioners playing the one-legged pensioners. I believe it was the one-legged pensioners who won the match and I think you can probably understand uh, the reason for that. The, the Naval College housed Lord Nelson's body briefly after he was um, brought back um, from the Battle of Trafalgar, um, uh, pickled in a, in a barrel of brandy. They, um, they, they brought his body, body back, from, um, back from southern Spain and uh, fished him out of the barrel and kept him in the painted hall. And in the late 50s, um, the Navy's Department of Nuclear Propulsion moved in. And so from 1959 to 1999, there was a nuclear reactor under the college, and these were people who changed the world. The facts and figures aren't what's significant about history. It can be a boring old load of facts and figures, and it's often taught as a boring old load of facts and figures. What's significant about history is um, understanding the way people interact, people have always interacted, um, and how, um, how that knowledge can help us understand the world we live in today. No, I never knew those facts. Uh, it's quite quite interesting, actually, especially the nuclear reactor one. <laughs> not sure. Go back to the one-legged battle. I did not know that. I didn't know. I did not know that. No, that's very interesting. It's pickled. No, I didn't know that at all. What? <laughs> pickled in brandy. It'd be good to learn more. I mean, I'm studying here. I've got a couple more years here. Might as well find out what I can. I did not know that, <laughs> but I knew that Nelson lived in South Wimbledon. Oh